Sup guys, it's Alex here, and today we have episode two of the Dayton Dynasty here on NCAA Basketball 10. As you can see, Devon Dotson there for Kansas is looking to have his All-American performance this season. I have 2020 rosters for each team in a power conference and for the conference that Dayton will be playing in here. With the A-10, we, as you can see, we are number 19 and taking a look at the... Uh, top 25 polls here these are from 2009 2010 so i'm sure they'll be updated throughout the season as it gets a little bit more real realistic here with the 2020 rosters we have kansas at the one and you guys can see just the different teams scroll through like texas i'm sure they'll fall updated their roster so they'll probably get like bottom of the top 25 or maybe even fall out by the time the season comes to an end just taking a look though especially california there too a couple of these rosters i have not updated such as like George, I, don't know, I think I've updated Georgetown. I think I've updated most of these rock, rosters, actually. Most of these teams are from power conferences, as you can see, so not, not too much of a surprise. But we are going to play, be playing Memphis here in the first game of the Dynasty mode and taking a look at the schedule here as you're seeing some simulations go on. I'm really excited for this. Our first game is going to be home against Memphis. Then you see away at Kentucky for the second game. And these are all going to be on all American difficulties, which is the hardest one in the game to make it as realistic as possible. As you can see, we're an A minus all around with Obi Toppin and Jalen Crutcher and me, of course, at point guard. But taking a look at the schedule, we have Memphis here, then Kentucky, then the Maui Invitational, where we, we will be playing Oklahoma, who made it to the national championship game in my NCAA tournament simulation in the first round there. Then we have Peyton Pritchard and Oregon there, then Rutgers with Geo Baker. Then taking a look in December, we have Cincinnati with Jaron Cumberland, then Louisiana Lafayette, and I think that's Brown. I just put in two gimme games there to boost the stats and make it a little bit more realistic because teams will be playing cupcake teams in the non-conference. Then we'll have Cassius Winston and Michigan State, Georgia Tech. I just left that one in there. Then we have Cole Anthony and North Carolina. That one will be away. And then we have Wisconsin here with the last non-conference game at home. And then we start with non-conference games right there, as you can see with like Rhode Island and stuff like that. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and start this game. I am really excited to tip it off here, taking a look at the different rosters. We have Precious Ochoa, Luis Thomas. I think that's like Lester Canones, however you pronounce that name for Memphis. And then over here, we have me at point guard, Jalen Crutcher at shooting guard, and then Obi Toppin at center. All-American is the hardest difficulty. We'll be doing 10-minute halves, and I will just be posting the highlights and stuff. But let's tip it off. As you can see, we have the starting lineups here for both Michigan and Dayton. Or not Michigan, I don't know why I said Michigan, it's Memphis. What am I saying here to start off the game? Am I disrespecting Memphis? But we have Precious Atua, I think is how you pronounce his last name there for Memphis, versus Opie Toppin here on the tip-off. Finally getting to actually play instead of watching some simulations. And we win the tip, opening up, starting off to Rodney Chapman who misses the three. I thought I would start it off with a splash, but it does not connect. Memphis, though, looking to take the first lead of the game and score the first bucket for either team. And they missed their first shot, too, so both teams starting out with a miss. I'm pushing the ball up the floor here, looking to drive a little, oh, a little crossover move action, but I turned the ball over. Not a pretty start for either team. On my first true possession of my career here at Dayton, I turned the ball over, so that's always nice. My first stat as a Dayton Flyer is a turnover. And now they're using a nice pick and roll to fool me and Jalen Crutcher there. And actually, I don't think that was Crutcher. I think that was Landers. But either way, we are now down 2 nothing. I see you over there, Chapman, looking to drop contact, and no foul is called. Not a good start here. Atcho at the top of the key, looking down low. We sent the entire team at them, but they're still able to score and take this 4-0 lead here early in this ball game. We are pushing the floor or pushing the ball up the floor in transition. Landers getting the foul call. Anthony Grant, they are pretty happy. Here we go. We got a steal. Pushing the ball up the floor here. A little cross court action. A little crossover move. Looking down low. And we get it to go. I score my first bucket of my collegiate career here at Dayton. Off a really nice move to get into the paint. Oh, no, I was caught reaching. 
Memphis has got to be teaching me. What was I doing there? Embarrassing. We're looking to break the press here. Finding who is that? Chapman. I don't trust Chapman taking that shot after that first possession of the ball game. Looking at Obi Toppin. He's trying to get a little post move action in there. Oh, I got him in the air. And a foul. But none is called there on Precious Atua. He fouled me. You guys saw that. Contact. Refs don't call anything, though. So I guess the refs swallow their whistle. Starting off one for two so far early in this ball game, and Memphis is able to get past Jalen Crutcher. A little bit of bad defense there by Crutcher. Looking to break this full court press. Getting past the defense, looking down low to Toppin, who rises, fires, and misses the in close shot. Come on, Obi Toppin, you're better than that. We are now down eight to four, as you can see. We need to get something going here. Switching over to Crutcher back to me. And I'm late there to challenge the shot. We are now down 10 to 4. What is going on here? Oh, I see you, Crutcher. Crutcher for three. Splash! There we go, Jalen Crutcher. That's the momentum we need. We play that. I guess we play a half court. I thought I'd send it up tempo, but either way, I'm reaching again. Obi Toppin, thankfully, is there to challenge the shot, though I'm able to get the rebound. Now we're pushing the ball back up the floor here. Look, uh, crossover move action, looking down low to Landers, who is now heading back to the line. Trey Landers getting to the line here early in this ball game. Two points so far. He hit both of those free throws earlier. I thought I might as well go and record these right here. Three for three at the line. We're looking to bring it back to within one. And we do 10 to nine. Now we are pushing the ball up the floor in transition. Got that defensive stop. I'm passing back out to Chapman, who I don't trust to take that shot. Now we're going to go ahead and work it back. Restart the offense here. I see you driving Obi Toppin. Oh, no, I guess I passed it out to Jalen Crutcher. Trying to get the guy in the air. Passing back out to Jalen Crutcher. Trying to get this team to start moving around. Oh, I got, ooh, do a little crossover move to get Obi Toppin free. Who And he is able to get it to go there. We take the lead. I think that's our first lead of the ball game. Up 11 to 10 now with six minutes to go here in the first half. And now a weird shot by Memphis does not fall. We are looking to push the ball back up the floor here in transition. I'll try to do that crossover. I'll be doing that a lot, but a bad pass. I turn the ball over. Now Memphis gets a fast break opportunity. Canones, I think is how you pronounce his last name. He pulls it back out. A little bit of a mismatch here. I bring out Obi Toppin to challenge him. The Memphis shoots at the free throw line. They are able to get it to go. Tyler Harris is now three for three shooting with six points. I see Obi Toppin. Oh, no, I passed down to Crutcher, and he is heading to the line. Memphis is able to get the lead there. You see six lead changes so far in this game. I am wide open for three. We got to make it splash. We do not, though. I missed the wide open three. Come on, Alex Price. What are you doing there? That was, you got to shoot that shot when you're open, but we're able to get the steal. Obi Toppin coming up with it, pushing the ball up the floor in transition here. I find Landers. Who is Landers? What was that? He missed that gimme layup there on the fast break. I was about to get an assist for that. I was about to get really hyped, and Memphis responds with a three of their own. They extend the lead to 17 to 13. We are three for nine shooting, as you can see right there. Jalen Crutcher, a deep two, I think. Yep, he's able to get it to go, though. He's made two out of our four shots. He is two for two. Maybe we need to start working it to Crutcher a little bit more. Seventeen to fifteen. We need to take that lead back. We can't have Memphis beat us on our own floor. And of course, we let Canones or however you pronounce it, Lester Canones. Oh no, we almost turned the ball over. I was getting a little bit too greedy there, trying to work that ball in transition. I see you though, Landers. And contact layup again. Landers missing. He's only been able to score here from the free throw line. Maybe I need to start shooting more. Maybe I need to start working it to Obi Toppin more. We're relying a bit too much on the bad players like Chapman and Landers. So far in this ball game, Memphis are looking to extend their lead. I send Chapman hard at him, and we get the stop. Obi Toppin getting the defensive board, trying to get it that corner three, which I love. Working the ball. Oh, I had the paint open for a second there. I see you, Landers. Oh, I, don't, I, I saw Landers, but I realized who it was. I see Obi Toppin, though, fading away a bad shot. Not sure why he shot that fade away. I was looking for him just to rise and fire rather than fade away. Under three and a half minutes to go, though. We are down 19 to 15 here in the first half. Memphis shooting a deep three. Not able to connect. Landers, though, getting that defensive rebound. I'll give him some credit here on the defensive end. Looking to Crutcher. I uh, had a man on him. I thought about shooting that shot. Looking down low to Toppin, though. Driving. Contact. 
Not able to go, but Toppin gets his own rebound, and he puts it in. There you go, Obi Toppin. I know he's giving... Not letting me get that assist there. We are now down. We've only shot 5 of 14 so far in this ball game, just over 33%. Not too good so far, but hopefully we can turn it around here in the second half. I've been trying not to involve myself too much and take too many shots. But Landers, though, getting the rebound. Chapman pushing the ball up the floor in transition, giving us the potential tie, and he does. There you go, Chapman. That's what we need. We now tie it up here 19 to 19. Points in the paint is pretty equal here. Looking to get that defensive stop. Crutcher looking down low. Chapman. We get the defensive stop. Obi Toppin gets the rebound. A little bit slow there to get the ball out. Finding Crutcher. Little uh, pump fake does not work, though. Passing it back out to me. Looking to drive. I see you, though. Landers rising, firing, and he gets rejected. Probably wasn't too smart there for me. Just as the controller shooting that contested shot. And we force the turnover, though. Canona steps out of bounds. Luckily, we are able to get that defensive stop, get that turnover, looking to push the ball before, and we get a bit greedy again. What is going on here? So, Tyler Harris here for Memphis, as you can see, now has 11 points on 5 of 5 shooting. Memphis starting to open up this. Uh, ooh, a little behind the back action. Contact, no foul by the refs. Yet again, I'm getting these contact shots. I was getting murdered there on that shot, but the refs still don't call a foul. We're getting hosed here by the refs on our home floor. But I get the steal, though. Pushing the ball up the floor here, trying to get a fast break opportunity. I don't know where I ended up going there. Just kind of stopped, but I get a little bit free here at the free throw line, and I get rejected. Obi Toppin thankfully gets the rebound. Now looking to drive. Finally, we get a foul call. I'm heading to the line. Foul on Boogie Ellis. Knock down the first one. There we go. Let's look to bring it to within one. There we go. 22-21. So Memphis scores here with just under 15 seconds to go. Looking to save it for the final shot. Unless I'm wide open for three. You got to make that. I miss, but thankfully Toppin gets the rebound and he gets rejected. Two misses here right before the halftime break. Memphis misses the half court heave. We go into the breakdown three at home in our first game. Look at this. We are shooting 32%. Of course, that would happen on All-American difficulty when you're playing on the hardest. 57% to 32. What? I mean, I don't know what to do here. So we get a stop here on our first possession of the second half. Looking to drive. Crossover move. And we finally get that contact layup to fall. I think that's eight points for me now. I, I think I scored while the camera was off there for a second. And Chapman, though, able to knock it loose. We bring it back to within one here. And we get another defensive stop. Just over nine minutes to go here in the second half. Down by one, looking to take the lead. Finding Obi Toppin back out. Oh, no, that was out to Chapman. I was looking to find me, but I'm open for a deep three. Splash! Let's go! On a 5-0 run here to open the second half. Down, oh, I knock it loose. Pushing the ball up the floor, finding OB Toppin. Who gets rejected by Atua? Man, he just slant, or he just sent it out of bounds there. He's trying to get that off in, or that fast break off the missed uh, the turnover, whatever you want to call it. I'm I'm missing my speaking terms, whatever you want to call it. Looking down low, almost turned it over. OB Toppin, though, thankfully saves it for me there. And Atua's reaching. And now he fouls Toppin. Obi Toppin now heading to the line, looking to extend this lead here. Knocks down the first one. We've made all of our free throws this game, thankfully. And he knocks down the second one, 30 to 26. So Memphis was able to retake the lead. I find Crutcher a deep two, probably a bad shot, but he gets it to go. Look at me getting hyped there off Crutcher's shot. 37 to 36 now with just over five minutes to go here in the second half. This one is tight, though it scares me from when we play teams like Kentucky and Michigan State if we're struggling here with Memphis. Oh, no, but we let a man get free. Landers, though, shows up with a rejection, pushing the ball up the floor, finding Obi Toppin, looking to drive contact, and one. Neither Landers or Lance Thomas is showing up this game. 
Ob Toppin though with 8.6 rebounds, looking to make it nine points here if we can convert the and one, and we do. We take the 40 to 36 lead. Let's get a defensive stop here. Trying to play good defense. Oh no, I let my man get past me though. Looking down low, Landers gets the rejection on Thomas. I think that's Crutcher getting the rebound. I'm pushing the ball up the floor here, and now I am heading to the line. Looking to score some more points myself here. I am 5 of 10 shooting 13 points, 5 assists so far in the first game. I will take it, make it 14 points. Obi Toppin dapping me up there. And I knocked down the second one too. Man, we are shooting like 13 of 13 from the line this game. Just over four and a half minutes to go. We are now at 42 to 36 on a 7-0 run since I last showed the score. And of course, we get the foul there. So Memphis was able to convert those two free throws right there. I see a man open down in the paint. And I almost turn it over. Memphis is able to knock it loose. But thankfully, it stays down here in our possession. Trying to get a three off the inbounds. Not able to get a good shot off, though. Crutcher, though, a deep two. Does not fall. Toppin, though, gets the rebound. And now Toppin is heading back to the line. Foul on Lance Thomas. And now the simulated guy, number 41, coming in. Top end of look, looking to get into double figures here. The Flyers are a pretty good free throw shooting team. Knocks down the first one, 43 to 38. It means that they realize the importance of free throws. And he knocks down the second one as well, 44 to 38. Of course, Memphis would hit a three. And of course, we're being greedy. We turn the ball over off the inbounds. 44 to 43. Now Memphis gets a quick five points off of our mental mistakes. I find Toppin though for three. Obi Toppin does not connect. Maybe I got a bit greedy there with shooting a three with Obi Toppin too. He's not able to connect. Good defense though by Landers to get some pressure on the shooter. Looking to push the ball up the floor here. I'm finding Obi Toppin who gets the contact and he gets the basket to fall. 46 to 43 now. This one is getting intense with just over three minutes to go in this ball game. We need to get this win here in our first game. It's been a close one so far, and we're able to get the steal too. I'm not sure who it was who knocked it loose, but we were pushing the ball up the floor, finding Chapman for three. He's wide open. You got to make that. And he does. Splash. We extend that lead back out to six here. 49 to 43. I tried to knock it loose and reach in the cookie jar. Thankfully, he didn't go shoot a shot there. He's bringing it back out, though, wanting to reset the offense with just under three minutes to go here in this ball game. He rises, fires. I think that was a three. It won't matter either way. Obi Toppin skying high to get that rebound. I'm pushing the ball up the floor in transition. And, of course, I turn the ball over again. Now, Precious Ochoa driving, and he's able to score on Obi Toppin. 49 to 45, though. I've turned the ball over like six times in this ball game. As you can see, we're four, 15 to 15 from the line. Great pass. Great finish by Chapman, though. We were able to break that press and extend that lead back out to six here. 51 to 45. I'm knocking him loose out of bounds, but I'm not able to react quick enough. And Toppin gets the huge block. Chapman finding me open for three. I'm not sure why I pulled it up with myself. But Chapman, though, is able to get the two points. He deserves. No, he's not. He misses the shot down low. So we missed two shots on that possession. I missed one with myself. Maybe I should have just kept it going with Chapman there on that fast break. But I got greedy. I thought I could get an open three, but they had good defense for Memphis. And he knocks down a three to bring it back to within three points. 51 to 48 now. I'm leading the team with 15 points and contact again. But no foul is called. I'm missing shots like crazy now. Maybe costing us the game. But Obi Toppin, though, able to get the defensive board one-on-one -on -one fast break. And, of course, the animation gets me to stop. Chapman, though, rising for a two. And he's able to get it to go. 53 to 48 now. Let's go. Starting to open up that lead to a two possession game. We may be able to hang on. And Ochoa misses. And Obi Toppin gets the, <laughs> gets the block. Pushing the ball up the floor in transition. Open for three in the dagger. Splash! There we go. That's what we needed. 56 to 48 now. We are starting to pull away, thankfully. And looking down low, Landers gets some good defensive pressure there on Memphis, but they're able to get the shot either way. Toppin, though, almost turns it over, finding me back out here. And they're trapping me at the half-court line, finding Chapman for three. 
and he misses the three. Now they call a timeout. Maybe I should have just held the ball there. Will Memphis gets a, get a basket here? If they miss, or even if they make, they'll probably foul on the next possession. Great defense by Landers. I miss my chance at the rebound, and Memphis brings it to within four. They'll probably start intentionally fouling, and yes, they will. I'll pick it up once we get to the one and ones. So this should be the foul that puts us in the bonus here. Just looking to run out the clock. I was trying to extend that. We got three extra seconds off the clock. Now I am heading to the line. 18 points, not a great shooting day. Six of 13 so far in this ball game, but 4-4 at the line. And I knocked down the first one. It was close to missing though, as you guys saw that bar got pretty far back. And I knocked down the second one to extend the lead to 58-52. Memphis calls a timeout. Memphis looking to get a basket here. They need a three potentially to bring it to within three. He misses though, but whoever that is, I think that's Lance Thomas is able to clean up the mess. He puts it in to bring the lead back to four. We are chanting to warm up the bus. Twenty points for me now in my first game here at Dayton. Make it twenty-one. And now 22. We went like 19 and 19 at the line this game. Perfect. Memphis needs a timeout. So now Memphis just looking to get some final points on the board here. They are able to connect though. 60 to 56. They keep making these two point shots to bring them back to within this game. And they start fouling again. Tyler Harris gets the foul. And now Memphis is subbing everybody out. They are just giving me some more points now. Maybe I can get my lucky number, get that Super Celtic 24 points here in my first game. How poetic that would be. And I'm able to connect on the second one. 62 to 56. Memphis calls another timeout. Memphis probably just going to try to get some three points on the board here. They missed the final shot, so we are going to walk out of here with the W in our first game, 62 to 56. I get player of the game with 24 points and eight assists. Let's go. 62 to 56, and I will show you guys these final stats here. Checking out Stats Central, going to those player stats. OB Toppin getting 13 points and eight rebounds. Chapman getting 12 and four respectively, and then I had 24 points and eight assists. And then also OB Toppin getting two blocks to go with that. Almost everybody in the starting lineup getting those steals. I'm going to show you guys the turnover numbers, even though I'm pretty embarrassed by it. I had seven turnovers in this ballgame, as you can see. And then just looking at the field goals, nobody really going shooting too well. I mean, Jalen Crutcher shot three or four, and maybe I need to get him more involved in the game in the future. Not sure why I shot 11 shots with Chapman, because as you can see, he is a 76 overall. But at the free throw line, that was where we succeeded. We went 21-21. Taking a look at Memphis, Achua ended up with eight points, and Kionis and Tyler Harris went seven went for 17 each. But there we go. We get that win in our first game. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next episode.